Sarah Karlick lost her mum, Roz, to ovarian cancer, one of the more than 4,000 women killed every year by a disease which is so often misdiagnosed. This is a lovely picture of me and my mum. Sarah herself carries a gene fault which puts her at high risk of getting ovarian cancer too. She welcomes research suggesting a new form of regular blood tests could dramatically improve diagnosis. You're walking around with that in you for so long and even when they diagnosed my mum and for those first six months it wouldn't have made any difference, it had been there for ages. Because it's diagnosed so late, the treatment doesn't have the same effect so if we're able to get it early by these sort of testing and what this research is doing, that can surely only make a better, be, make a better difference. The trial involved monitoring changes in the level of a protein called CA125. 46,000 women had the blood test every year for 14 years. In 86% of cases, the women were correctly diagnosed. That compares to just 48% under the conventional single test method. These results are very encouraging because never before have we picked up uh, women so early in the course of ovarian cancer. So we have, we have picked up double the number of women uh, uh, with ovarian cancer than we would have picked up if we used the old screening method. The next stage of the research later this year will assess if lives were saved as a result of the new testing technique and that data will be passed to the NHS. It's early days, but Sarah hopes it might eventually lead to a national screening program for ovarian cancer. Peter Lane, 5 News.